Hello, Aries. So keep in mind, no reading can resonate with every Aries on the planet all the time. Also keep in mind that energies can be reversed. So if I say that you did something and you know that you didn't, it simply means to be aware that someone else in this situation most likely did, whether you are aware of this or not. We have Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Cancerians potentially involved in this reading does not have to be. Some of you are trying to keep your emotions in check. For some, you have a guilty conscience. That won't be everybody. But you're trying to maintain your composure about a deception. There could be a third party involved for some. That's not going to be everybody either. Or it could just be that you're feeling heartbroken. Whatever this is, you're feeling overwhelmed and you're needing to put the weight down. You are close to where you need to be, but you're feeling overwhelmed. You're trying to improve a situation. Some of you could be learning new skills, um, improving your education or Maybe even just a situation. There could be meditation. Heavy focus. Okay. On a leap of faith here. Some of you could have put your faith into the universe. In an effort to try to end manipulation. Boy have I been there. Yeah. So. You know. This could be in several different ways. This could be somebody who is tired of you and they're tired of your manipulation and they're wanting to end it. Or this could be you wanting to end someone else's manipulation. If this is not you, there could be, there could be two, three, maybe even four people involved in this manipulation that you are trying to um, correct. There's definitely a feeling here, though, of, and this card can be manifestation, ending manifestation, but I see it very much as manipulation here because of the deception and some other things that I'm seeing along the way. But anyway, you're emotional about a family victory and you're in a mental prison about money. Um, this could be a home, a car. Maybe somebody has a new baby, a new family or something like that. But money is of the essence. But at the same time, you're wanting to end the manipulation. For some, there could be this one person who thinks they're trying to end manipulation. But what they're doing is actually causing someone else to feel manipulated and it's just kind of like a domino effect. So the person, one of the people trying to end the manipulation may be blaming one person and that person is blaming another person, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So for whatever this is, if I read the four corners, there is potentially a guilty conscience about improving a family financial settlement and ending manipulation. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there's some sort of family um, assets, for instance, Um and maybe you have a guilty conscience because you were aware of some of the manipulation that was going on or something like that, but you're trying to end it now, right? 
so that this can work itself out. But it looks like there may be several players involved that don't want to end this manipulation because they don't think they're manipulating. They think the other person is manipulating. So, yeah, it's kind of round and round and round we go, right? Where it stops, nobody knows. Um, there could be someone who may have um, unfairly taken advantage of a will, inheritance, settlement, something like that. That's what it looks like. With the Eight of Swords, there could literally be someone who's in jail or in prison as well. Does not have to be. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.